Hello everybody. Today we're going to talk about how to play the trumpet when you have chapped lips. We're going to talk about it from two different directions. We're going to talk about it from the health and healing side and we're going to talk about it from the performance side. Okay. The number one thing we want when we have chapped lips is to get properly hydrated. And what that means is drinking more water and along with the water, we want to make sure that our electrolytes are balanced. That that we because when we when we drink more water, we have a tendency to flush the electrolytes out. Electrolytes are typically your calcium, your sodium, your magnesium, and your potassium. Okay, um, and those minerals get washed out if you drink more water. So you want to make sure that as you're drinking more water, you put the 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 electrolytes back in your body and you can do that an easy way there are sports drinks it's just water but it's got the salts added back into the the drink okay like Gatorade and stuff like that so that's the first thing is you want to make sure because um chapped lips are a symptom of dehydration all right that's not the only thing that'll make you get chapped lips but you will not heal the chapped lips if you're not properly hydrated. Second is you want to protect the lips from getting more dehydrated, more dried out. Okay, so and usually we'll do this with a lip balm. We don't want, we want to avoid petroleum jelly, like Vaseline kind of stuff, because that dries you out more. We want to avoid anything that's medicated, and we want to preferably have something that's made out of either beeswax or cocoa butter or something like that something more naturally fat okay um i'm not going to promote any brands for this i would strongly recommend that you experiment and find what works for you okay i've tried um, four or five different things and I really what I do is I keep my eye out for the one that's cheapest and that way because there are four or five of them that I like that uh, that work for me and I'm just gonna keep cycling through those when I find good deals all right the next thing is we want nutrition we want to eat the right stuff now you could get a multivitamin that works also you can um, eat foods that have more vitamin A. Look it up online. Vitamin A, carrots, leafy greens, stuff like that. And then we also want a boost in omega-3. Foods that have omega-3 are avocado, salmon, fish. Um, catfish has omega-3. I just recently learned that pumpkin has omega-3. Uh, so yeah, you want to Eat foods that are going to um, bring your your um, lips back to health, okay? So that's the, the health side of it. Now, the problem is sometimes you don't get the stuff healed or... Let me give you an, ex an example. Uh, this most recently happened to me on a gig that I played in South Africa. We fly through Europe, so it's like two days to travel there. And and in the process, you know, I I got really chapped. And and in fact, the place where I played was in a town called Grahamstown, and it's kind of arid there compared to what we were, you know, here in Houston. It's very very humid. So um. So I was in Grahamstown and on I think the second or third day I woke up and my lips were as chapped as I've had them in a long 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 time I got up in the morning tried to play and nothing would come out of my horn and you know I was trying to do all this stuff that I told you about the lip health I was doing all of that but it wasn't enough on that trip because of that long flight and the arid climate it just didn't it just wasn't enough you know, it's very hard to stay hydrated on the airplane. Um, anyway, so 
what I ended up doing is this routine that I'm going to show you. Um, it's a different kind of warm-up, a warm-up that's specifically for when you have chapped lips. First thing we want to do is uh, exfoliate the lips. Let's say you get up, you take a shower, take the wash rag, and rub it over your lips to get the, the loose bits off, okay? Then we want to take and put whatever lip balm you're using, using, put it on your lips. If you want to use a an oil, you can use an oil too to get in there and, and smooth out the, the cracks. Uh, but then after you do that, whether it's lip balm or oil, you can massage the lips. And what I do is I take take the my forefinger and my thumb and I kind of pinch and roll all the sections of my lip that need to be loosened up. Okay, because remember what we're trying to do. We're trying to loosen the skin up and hydrate it enough so that it will vibrate correctly when we're in the performance. Okay, so that's the one of the most important things is to get in there and uh, massage the lips that way. Next thing we want to do is uh, mouthpiece buzz. Uh, I don't think it's wise to do lip buzz. Normally I will start the day with my practice day with a, a lip buzz. That's a free buzz without any mouthpiece. Kind of hard to do that when the lips are all dry. So let's go straight to the mouthpiece. And I don't have chapped lips now. I tried to do this lip video last week when I did have chapped lips. That's why I thought about doing it. Uh, but my chapped lips are gone now. And um, that video I tried to do last week was on my iPad. And I it was a complete flop. So um, anyway, I don't have chapped lips now. But I'll, I'll show you what routine I use. So we want to get on the, on the mouthpiece. And just play one long tone at meso forte. We don't want it to be high. We don't want it to be low. Okay. Just start with one long tone and then... Start stretching it up, start stretching it down. Now, if you're so chapped that that's not coming out, then you want to go back to those other steps. Put more lip balm massage, more lip balm massage until you get it to where you can do a, a, a buzz on the mouthpiece. Now, when you get to where you're buzzing a little higher and buzzing a little lower and it's starting to feel okay. That's when you want to do some long tones with a bend. Okay, so let's start on F. We're going to play F and then bend it down to E and then back up to F. Now this is going to be meso piano, not meso forte. Okay. <laughs> And then we want to take that down in half steps. It's almost like a Schlossberg long tone study. We want to do that down in half steps until we get to the F sharp. And then from there we want to get back to the middle of the register again and start adding meso forte um, and then to forte. All of it should be slurred at this point. Don't do any tonguing just yet. Um, and I, I think some people will tend to tongue because it's easier to get the note out if you tongue. That creates an explosion of air at the beginning of the note and makes it easier to get the note. But we don't want that. We want 
to be more sensitive to how flexible the lips are, how pliable the lips are. And if we tongue, we're not really getting that feedback. So, so now we'll do like scales, but at a meso forte. Something like that. Um, and notice that I'm getting louder as I do this. The When we play louder, it sort of massages the lips. The, the flapping, the vibration of the lips helps to loosen up um, the tissues and makes them more vibratable. Okay, now here's the next. So, so that's really what you need is to gradually... We want to start meso piano on the horn. Gradually expand the range, gradually expand the volume. Then as when it's time to take a break, immediately put the lip balm back on the lips. Okay? And do whatever you can not to breathe through your mouth. All right? I hope all of this is helping. So yes, this is how you salvage a, a performance if you have chapped lips. Don't try to do the routine you normally do because things aren't the same right now. Okay? Um, I'll let you know that when I did that thing in South Africa, it went fine. There weren't any real problems. Uh, even though my lips were about as chapped as they had been in over 25 years, um, the performance went fine. And this is how you do that. Now, the more time you spend away from the horn, the more stiff they become again because you're not... So you want to make sure that, that if you do this routine earlier in the day like I did, that you do a similar routine again as a short warm-up before your performance. Because you wanna, you're gonna need to rehydrate, re-loosen up um, the tissue all over again. That's what happens when you're when you're chapped. All right. So, if you have any questions about that, if you're struggling with chapped lips right now, and you have a question that I didn't answer in this video, go ahead and ask in the comments below. And also, if you like this video and would like to hear some more. Um, Go ahead and click subscribe. This whole thing is kind of new for me. I've been on YouTube for a while, but never really took it all that seriously. But now I'm kind of giving it a go. So yeah, I would appreciate if you click like, click subscribe. And if you have any questions, let me know. Um, all right. So I'll see you on the next video. Have a blessed day.